everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to cook mashed sunchokes. Now if you've never heard of a sunchoke before, they're also called Jerusalem artichoke, although they aren't artichokes at all. They're actually a sunflower and these are the tubers that grow underground. This is what they look like. They actually kind of look like ginger root. These are small ones. I had a massive haul yesterday from my garden from a couple of plants and we have a ton of them. So I'm just going to do the small ones today because I want them to cook quickly for our roast beef dinner. Make sure you check out our tiger nut crusted outside round roast beef. Uh, that's what we're doing tonight. So this is going to be our mashed potato, although it's not potato. Now these don't have starch. They are actually even more better digested by people who, you know, have diabetes for instance. They have a fructose in them, a polymer, polymer of fructose. And so they're more easily digestible and better for you. Uh, the native Indians actually cultivated these. Um, they grow all the way across Canada, all the way through Eastern Canada, all the way down to Northern Florida and Texas, etc. So these are a wonderful crop. And in fact, I had only like two plants and I had a haul like this big of the tubers that grow underground with more that stayed in the ground. They are perennial, they grow every year. So check out my other recipe I've done for how to roast sunchokes with olive oil. Um, you'll see a whole bunch more uh, sunchoke recipes to come. So this is a great alternative for uh, the holidays for people, you know, who can't tolerate mashed potatoes so well. So this is great, great. So do as many sun chokes as you like and uh, need. Uh, we're serving three people, so that should be a great side dish for three people, a nice big side dish, okay? So on my stove top, I have a medium sized saucepan, something that these guys will fit in. Uh, I have some water already started. I'm probably gonna need some more, but I'm also gonna add one cup of milk to that because it's just going to kind of make it a little more rich and decadent and delightful for the holidays. These come out of the ground full of dirt, just like a potato. So you gotta really scrub these guys off, which I've already done. If there's any parts that you need to cut off, uh, cut them off if they don't look too nice, okay? So into the pot, I'm going to put these. They are full of protein and iron. They also have a copper in them. They have a lot of uh, interesting nutrients that are necess necessary for us. There's also niacin, I believe, in there, and a couple other things that I thought were interesting. Just make sure that these guys are topped up, covered, okay? We're gonna bring this up to a boil. As soon as it goes to a boil, we're gonna turn it down to a simmer and let them rock and roll until they're knife tender. These guys, since they're smaller, I mean, there's ones that are this big that I pulled out. So these ones are small. These ones should only probably take 15 minutes, I'm thinking, 15, 20 minutes max, uh, till they're knife tender and we can mash them, just like potatoes, all right? Okay, this has come up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer. And keep your eye on them. These sun chokes are knife tender. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain them out of this liquid, but I want to reserve it. So I'm going to pour it into a big measuring cup with a strainer so I can reserve a little bit of liquid in case I need to moisten these sun chokes when I mash them. Okay? There we go. Okay. So this is what they look like. They look beautiful. They're ready to go. This only took maybe 10 minutes. That's it. So I'm going to return it back to the pot. It's always the easiest place for me to mash these guys. Now you could have boiled these in all water, you could have used broth if you wanted to, but I think that the milk just is nice because we always tend to add cream anyway, or a dairy product to our mashed potatoes over the holidays. So I'm gonna add some butter. Again, you don't have to do that. You could add coconut oil or ghee or nothing, or just broth. That would really make it delicious. Some salt, some pepper, real simple, and mash them up just like you would potatoes. Um, if you wanted to, you could have peeled these guys, but I don't think it's necessary. On the small ones, of course, there is a lot of different skin and a lot of different shapes, so I wasn't gonna about to do that today. That wouldn't work for me. These look just like mashed potatoes. Now, they're called Jerusalem artichoke, but they're also called sunroots, and they're also called earth apples, and I think they have another couple names that I don't know how to pronounce. Um, but it's just a sunflower. It's a beautiful sunflower. In fact, lots of stalks and lots of gorgeous, gorgeous sunflowers at the top. All right, there you go. I don't think I need any extra liquid. They had, they're quite moist. That's good. If you're wondering what sun chokes taste like, they kind of have a nutty flavor. They're uh, crunchy when they're raw. You can eat them raw. You can eat the skins. It's no problem. 
Um, and they kind of have a little bit of a sweetness because of that uh, fructose it has in them. And that is done. Here we go. Let's taste test. Mm. Those are delicious. Yum! Now you can save this milk for something, whatever you want. You could bake with it or whatever. If someone didn't tell you, you might just think that is potatoes. Those are absolutely delicious. And they go. I often keep my peels on my potatoes too. They have a lot of nutrients there that otherwise you would be getting rid of. Great side dish, super fast, super easy. Would you like to try this, Mom? I would love to. I want to get your opinion. I can't wait. What do you think, Ma? Oh my goodness. I love mashed potatoes, but I think mm. I like this better. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. It is absolutely fabulous. It's a little bit more of a complex flavor. Oh, it is delicious. Now, these guys will take on any flavor that you give to them, but they do have a lovely, subtle flavor all of their own. There you go. I'm going to serve that up with a, just garnish that and you're good to go. That's a beautiful side dish, and they're nice and creamy and delicious. That's how you do it. That's how you mash sun chokes. You can do it too. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. Check me out on instagram.com slash webchef of all trades. Find my shows online at youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly and check out my website at cookingwithkimberly.com. Interact with us and subscribe. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously.